Alpine Linux is one of the most fascinating, lightweight, and security-focused Linux distributions ever created, yet it remains one of the most misunderstood, while mainstream distros like Ubuntu, Debian, Fedora, Arch, and Openness USC dominate general desktop and server discussions. Alpine quietly powers some of the most critical infrastructure of the modern internet. If you've ever used Docker Kubernetes, containerized services, embedded systems, or lightweight virtualization environments, there's a good chance Alpine Linux was part of the backbone. And despite being extremely small, it is far from simplistic. Alpine Linux represents a very specific philosophy, one built on efficiency, minimalism, security, and purity unlike any other distribution in the Linux ecosystem. To understand Alpine Linux deeply, we need to explore its design principles, its architecture, its unique choices like using Muzzle and BusyBox, its unmatched footprint in the container world, and why some people adore it while others find it too different from traditional Linux distributions. Alpine Linux began as a project designed for routers, firewalls, and embedded systems, environments where stability, security, and extremely small sizes were critical. Over time, the philosophy shaped Alpine into a distribution built for resource efficiency and robust security, not convenience or out-of-the-box features. Unlike large distributions with gigabytes of packages and complex software stacks, Alpine aims to remain incredibly small while maintaining full functionality for advanced users. An Alpine-based installation can be as small as under 10 megabytes for containers and around 130 megabytes for a full bare metal system, making it one of the lightest full Linux distributions ever created. This small size is not just a gimmick. It directly reflects Alpine's architectural choices and the minimal philosophy that guides everything about it. One of the most defining characteristics of Alpine Linux is its use of Muzzlelibka. Most Linux distributions use Glebkey, the new C library, which is powerful, widely compatible, and has decades of software relying on it. But Glebkey is also large and sometimes considered complex or bloated for environments where small size and simplicity are critical. Muzzle is a lightweight, simple, clean, and security-focused Libk implementation. Its codebase is smaller, easier to audit, and support static linking more efficiently. Muzzle is designed for correctness and performance in small systems. This makes Alpine extremely compact, but it also means that some software not written with Muzzle in mind can behave differently. This is one of the reasons Alpine sometimes confuses new users they expect it to behave like Debian or Ubuntu, but its underlying libraries are different. Another major component of Alpine Linux is Busy BusyBox is often described as the Swiss army knife of embedded Linux, offering a huge set of essential Unix tools in one single tiny executable. Instead of shipping dozens of separate utilities for LSCP, MFI, PS, TOP, ACC said, and many others, Alpine uses BusyBox to provide lightweight and streamlined versions of these tools. BusyBox trades some advanced features for size and efficiency, which is perfectly acceptable in many environments. However, users coming from full-fledged new core utils might notice differences in certain commands or flags. This again reflects Alpine's philosophy, minimal, efficient, and secure over maximum feature completeness. Another unique aspect of Alpine is OpenRC. It's in its system. While many mainstream distros have adopted system to Alpine sticks with OP a lightweight and simple in its system known for its speed, clarity, and efficiency. OpenRC avoids a complexity of systems while offering advanced features like service, supervision, and dependency-based startup. OpenRC keeps Alpine free of system its large scope and broader goals, making the system more suitable for users who prefer a traditional Unix-like initialization process. In fact, Alpine's avoidance of systemd is one of the reasons it is loved by users who want complete control over their boot process and don't want systemd's broader set of features baked into their system. Security is one of Alpine Linux's biggest focuses. The entire distribution is compiled with stack smashing protection, position-independent executables, full railroad, fortified source builds, and numerous security hardening flags. Alpine's developers treat security not as an optional feature, but as a core element of the system. Moosel simplicity helps prevent entire classes of vulnerabilities. BusyBox offers a smaller attack surface. OpenRC ensures a predictable, transparent boot environment. The Alpine package repositories undergo strict auditing and minimal patching, prioritizing upstream correctness. For many organizations, Alpine provides a trusted minimal base where there is less software installed by default, meaning less potential for exploitation. 
But one of Alpine Linux's biggest contributions to the modern world is its dominance in container environments, Docker, LXC, Kubernetes pods, and almost every lightweight container stack offer Alpine as one of the official minimal base images. This is because Alpine is incredibly small its base container images around 5 Muchi Basilar compared to I. Debian or Ubuntu base image of over 30 to 70 megabytes. This size difference matters significantly in environments where containers are deployed by the hundreds or thousands. Smaller images mean faster deployments, less bandwidth usage, lower storage requirements, and faster scaling. Infrastructure providers, cloud engineers, and DevOps teams love Alpine because it allows them to build minimal, fast, secure mod The modern container revolution would not be the same without Alpine Linux at its core. Despite its dominance in servers and container ecosystems, Alpine Linux is not primarily designed for typical desktop use. Some users do run Alpine as a desktop system, and it can certainly be done Alpine supports GNOME, KDA, XSC Mate, Cinnamon and Lightweight window managers such as i3, Openbox, and DWM. But the experience is not like Ubuntu or Linux Mint. Alpine does not aim to be newbie friendly. The user must manually configure many aspects of the system, from networking to display managers to package repositories. Some software may require patching or extra configuration due to muzzle compatibility quirks. Alpine is aimed at people who understand Linux deeply and want a system they can mold from the ground up. The Alpine Package Manager, APK, is another defining feature. APK is extremely fast, lightweight, and efficient. It supports dependency tracking, signature verification, and simple package installation and removal. The repository is focused on stability, security, and simplicity while maintaining surprisingly good coverage of packages. APK is one of the reasons Alpine thrives in containerized environments. It's speed and efficiency make building images fast and predictable. APC's design is aligned with Alpine's philosophy. No unnecessary complexity, no heavy dependency overhead, just fast, secure, minimal package management. Alpine Linux also introduces an intriguing concept called diskless mode. In diskless mode, Alpine loads its entire operating system into RAM. This creates an environment where the system is effectively stateless. On reboot, everything resets to the default built-in configuration unless the user manually saves changes. This is extremely powerful for routers, embedded devices, kiosks, security appliances, or systems where consistency and immutability are critical. Diskless mode also makes Alpine extremely resilient. If the file system becomes corrupted or compromised, a simple reboot restores a clean state. For edge devices or critical infrastructure, this kind of design is invaluable. Beyond its technical features, Alpine has built a community known for pragmatism, security awareness, and minimalism. Users and developers appreciate clean, readable code bases well-defined design choices, and the ability to customize systems without unnecessary layers of abstraction. Alpine aligns closely with the classic Unix philosophy of small shirt, modular tools designed to work together efficiently. Yet, Alpine Linux is not without controversy. Its use of muzzle introduces compatibility challenges. Many programs are built and tested primarily on glibga, meaning muzzle can reveal bugs or assumptions programmers never considered. While most modern software compiles fine on muzzle, some older or more complex applications require extra patches or do not run as expected. Users who rely on software with deep glib dependencies sometimes find Alpine frustrating. Additionally, BusyBox tools lack some advanced features found in new tools, causing scripts or commands that work on Debian or Ubuntu to fail on Alpine unless adjusted. The container world also faced challenges with Alpine's use of Muzzle. Some languages such as Go, Rust, Python, and Node JS behave differently in muzzle environments, leading to edge case errors that are difficult to reproduce. This led some teams to move away from Alpine based production images, not because Alpine was slow or insecure, but because muzzle exposed bugs in upstream projects. Alpine wasn't the problem. The software relying on glib specific behavior was. Still, this created a perception among some developers that Alpine was incompatible, even though the real issue lay elsewhere. Despite these challenges, Alpine remains extremely popular for anyone seeking minimalism, security, and efficiency. It continues to be widely used in security appliances, micro custom router firmware, IoT devices, firewalls, VPN servers, 
and tiny virtual machines. Alpine thrives in places where every megabyte matters and where attack surface must be minimal. But Alpine Linux has also developed a quiet but passionate desktop user base. These users love the speed, the simplicity, the complete control, and the absence of sitting. They enjoy building a system from scratch, but with a clear, predictable structure. Alpine Boots almost instantly runs on very old hardware, uses minimal RAM, and stays extremely stable once configured. For power users who want a simple, fast, flexible system, Alpine can be a joy to work with. Another charming aspect of Alpine is its clarity. The configuration files are clean, the file structure is simple, and nothing feels redundant. Many users compare Alpine favorably to Gentoo or Arch, not because it offers the same philosophy, but because it shares that sense of being close to the system's internals. Alpine does not hide complexity. It expects users to understand what they're doing. It rewards knowledge and curiosity. It is a system for builders, not consumers. Alpine Linux embodies a particular mindset. Do more with less. Strip away unnecessary components. Focus on security and correctness. Deliver predictable, stable behavior. Keep system overhead microscopic. Provide a toolkit, not a hand-holding experience. Alpine is not trying to be everything to everyone. It is trying to be the perfect system for the people who need exactly what Alpine offers. In a world where Linux distributions often grow larger, more complex, and more integrated, Alpine stands out as a radical alternative. It challenges assumptions about what a Linux distribution must be. It proves that minimal does not mean limited, that small does not mean weak, and that simplicity can produce extraordinary power. Alpine Linux is not flashy. It does not chase popularity. It is content being a quiet giant behind the scenes, powering containers, appliances, and infrastructure all over the world. For many, Alpine Linux is a breath of fresh air. It's predictable, transparent, clean, and extremely efficient. For others, it feels foreign, too minimal, or too different from mainstream Linux. But this is exactly what makes Alpine special. It is a distribution with a purpose, a clear vision, and a unique identity. It does not try to imitate others. It chooses its own path, one defined by efficiency and security in the end. Alpine Linux is a masterpiece of minimal engineering on distribution that embraces clarity over complexity, stability over convenience, and efficiency over bloat. It is the silent engine behind countless modern technologies. It's the favorite tool of power users who want absolute control and the ideal base for infrastructure engineers seeking reliability. Alpine Linux proves that even in a world of massive software ecosystems, sometimes the smallest things can make the biggest impact. It stands as a testament to what Linux can be when it focuses on pure, disciplined design, and it will continue shaping the future of containers, embedded systems, and lightweight computing for years to come.